A dubious distinction for a local animal shelter as it has one of the highest kill rates for cats in the state. News 13's Ashley Searles is in the Rutherford News Center with more. Ashley, some alarming numbers here. Some painful numbers to look at, Darcel. Less than 5% of the cats that go into the McDowell County Animal Shelter come out alive. The odds aren't good for this mama cat or her kittens. These have been here about a week and a half. So what does that mean for them? Hopefully by Friday they can find a home. Four cats, they appear perfectly adoptable, but not likely to be adopted. We like to use the word euthanize in, uh, rather than kill. Cats aren't being adopted from the McDowell County Animal Shelter. You've got uh, so many sources, internet, that give them away free, so it's hard for us to compete. It's $65 to adopt a cat from here. That pays for shots and spaying. Plus, Blevin says cats are just not adopted as often as dogs. And these obstacles are reflected in the shelter's 95% kill rate for cats. We're not an adoption agency. When they no longer want an animal, we have to destroy it. Cats stay here for three days usually. After that, there are state immunization requirements, and those cost money for animals that no one will likely even adopt in the end, says Public Works Director Mike Gladden. We usually uh, euthanize once a week. In 2011, shelter manager Jennifer Blevins euthanized 850 cats. We come in at 7.30. Sometimes it's 8 o'clock before I can get started because I have to get there. When asked why the numbers were so high, this county has, has always been known for a high population of unwanted animals. Uh, I don't understand why. In some other counties, adoption fees are subsidized through grant money or local government. But Gladden says more funding isn't the issue. We're doing everything we can. I don't think more money would make it more better. Public Works Director Mike Gladden says the shelter routinely comes in under budget. The kill rate in the McDowell County Shelter for Dogs is 80%. Reporting live from the Rutherford News Center, Ashley Searles, News 13.